What's up, buds? It's Fly High FPV, and I uh, I realized I made a mistake the other day when I bought this tool. This is the DeWalt gyroscopic uh, driver, and it's pretty fucking nice. I like it. It's got an LED on the front. As you turn it, the more you rotate, the faster it goes. Pretty darn nice. It's pretty small, compact, weighs about 500 grams. It's like the same weight as my Tango 2. Um, Again, nice driver, but it's missing a couple little things. And uh, really, it's missing one big thing. And uh, I figured out that this is the slightly newer version of it. The big way you can tell that you've got the newer version is it does this. This is pointless to me. I see no advantage to doing this, except maybe it'll fit in a shorter space. But uh, that's, that's pointless to me. What's really important to me is this. This is the chuck. Uh, this is an adjustable chuck so that... Uh, our clutch so that you can manage the tension on how tight it's going to get. This is really, really, really important uh, when you're cranking down on screws uh, so that you can do things that are M2 and M3 size and yet also still be able to crank on prop nuts. Um, so this is really, really important that you get one that has the, um, the clutch. I've been leaving mine set right at 15 to do like my M3 and M2 work and then uh, when I want to go do props or I just need something to come undone, then I crank it all the way up to max. And that works fantastic for me. Um, you know, the clutch is going to allow you to have it actually slip instead of just stripping stuff out. Um, if we turn it up all the way and get this guy undone. But then when you're tightening them, um, you want to set a reasonable amount of clutch so that this doesn't over tighten. It'll stop so that it doesn't over tighten, which is key. And I went and I tested this with a manual driver to make sure I was getting it just the right spot. But on that 15 setting, it is perfect. Uh, one other advantage that I found on the newer style driver versus the old one is the actual LEDs. Uh, the new one has two LEDs and the old one only has one. Um, it's not a huge difference in actual, uh, let me turn the lights down. In real world, difference, it doesn't make a huge difference. They're both pretty similar. But uh, yeah, to me the big difference though is the clutch. Make sure you get one with a clutch if you're looking for this. I, I really don't know if I'll ever put it into this mode. Uh, I just I don't know. I feel like, especially as a gyroscopic driver, that that is less intuitive because now you're controlling from down here and it's all about that center access and rolling on the access. Um, weight wise and size wise, here, let's see if I can put them both all the way on the screen. Uh, the newer one with the clutch is just about an, half an inch longer, maybe an inch longer. Uh, I weigh them on the scales and it made 20 grams of difference. Uh, this one was 480 and this one was 500. So a pretty insignificant difference in the weight and the size to me. Um, to me, having that clutch is the key. So this one is gonna go back to Amazon and uh, this one I'm gonna keep rocking. Um, also a minute on bits. Um, these are the bits that I've been using. They've turned, let me get the lights back on. Uh, these bits have been pretty darn good. I haven't managed to strip them out yet. The first set I got were had this uh, black finish, the black oxide finish like these did, and they stripped almost immediately on the like the two millimeter hex driver and the 1.5 millimeter hex driver. Like first time I used them, they stripped out. Now that may also have been a result of not having a clutch, but uh, with these, I've been rock solid so far, and they seem to be pretty good. I probably am still going to reach out to uh, my tool supplier and see if they can make me sets uh, of short, short ones. They're like this long, and long, long ones will go all the way through my prints so that I've got both. Um, because really, I need 1.5, 2.0, 2.5, and I need just the 8mm uh, driver that's, that's here. Um, these are just cheap impact wrench drivers and they seem to work just fine. Um, 
This is the cheap brand I got. Uh, I wish I could get a set of all eight millimeters though, because I don't I don't need any of this or, or these quarter and sixteenth inches and shit. No, uh, eight of these or twenty of these would be fantastic. Um, so yeah, again, this is not stuff I sell on the site. It's just stuff that I think is really really useful. Um, maybe I can talk to Dewalt and they'll they'll a little tiny old me carry this thing in the shop um maybe i don't know I, I don't know if i'm that big of a fish to dewalt to let the to have them let me in the door but uh you know i'm gonna ask because if you don't ask you won't find out uh but yeah this thing's fantastic let me show you a prop nut too because that was one of the main reasons i bought this over um using just the traditional i mean that's it it's off And then go in to put them back on. You now, if it's not tight enough for you, crank it all the way to max. And that's where I like it, right there on max for the props. And a 15 for my M3 and M2 stuff. Like motor screws and stack screws and stuff like that. Everything at around 15 max for the props. Uh, anyway, that's, that's what I like. This is my new favorite tool in the shop. Uh, let me know what you think. Have you guys tried these? Do you think it's worth like the $15 extra to have a chuck on it? I do. Do you, do you care about gun mode? I don't. <laughs> this does nothing for me. It, it's cute. But yeah. Uh, also it's worth noting these are uh, lithium ion batteries. Uh, so they should last a good long while. Uh, and they do come with a little charger, or I should say a big charger, but a single charger. Um, dumb, just t typical drill battery shit. And uh, this kit even comes with a little tool bag and the charger to keep it. And what's this, some kind of hanging clipper guy? Oh, this is uh, an accessory clip. probably 3d print one of these but this thing goes on not there right there maybe oh there's probably a bit of gap maybe that's for heat dissipation or maybe I got it in the wrong place but so you can stick your bits I guess probably doing it wrong That's not it. <laughs> it. It won't take me bits. Maybe it's for for nails or screws. I don't know. It's not for that. Anyway gyroscopic tool set from uh, DeWalt. Make sure you get the one with the chuck on the end of it is my uh, my recommendation. DCF680 is the model number. The old one was uh, DCF682. I don't know. Maybe this is older. I like the one with the chuck. Anyway, peace out.